Good morning, my name is Kat Herndon and I have uh, one of my pieces accepted into the upcoming Fiberworks 2020 show. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of my studio and talk a little bit about my process and inspiration. Uh, so first my <laughs> studio tour will be pretty brief, it's not very big, but I'll flip the camera around here and uh, let you see where I work. So this is my studio. Um, I work out of Globe Studios in downtown Kitchener. Um, a lot of my work is at home right now too. I've kind of been bouncing back and forth. Fortunately, I can still come here uh, to get some work done. Over here is a uh, cozy corner. This is where I do a lot of my knitting and sewing. Um, this is just some work that I've been working on or that is finished rather. And here's a work in progress that I'm working on right now. Um, and let me flip this back around and I'll tell you a little bit about my process. I draw all of my inspiration from patterns. Like, it's pretty obvious, I think. But yeah, I, I love patterns found in nature, in architecture, on bathroom floors. They're everywhere. And the uh, endless inspiration um, and enjoyment I get from looking at them and recreating them in unique ways is like, fuels me. To create these pieces, um, and most of my pieces, I use masking techniques to apply the acrylic paint um, and to get those crisp outlines and edges. And then afterwards, I hand sew embroidery over top of the canvas. So you can see like behind looks very different than, it's not very good, there we go, than uh, the front. Uh, I love the way the thread adds, I kind of, to a three-dimensionality effect to it, a kind of optical illusions. Um, I My favorite is where the threads kind of coalesce at the points and the color becomes super saturated. I think it's really great how, uh, depending on where you're standing, the color becomes quite saturated and, and looks almost solid. And then when you move out, it gets sort of all, you can see all the individual threads again. Um, working with thread has always been a passion of mine. Um, and just applying it to the canvas was this eureka moment for me and I discovered like all of the possibilities um, and amazing things you could do with it. Uh, it's just like never, never tired of it. Finally, the last thing I've been working on, you may have noticed on the studio tour, are these like fun little squid like cephalopod uh, crocheted things. So these are for an installation that I'm working on. They are all gonna be lit up. There'll be about 30 of them hanging uh, in a dark room with a water feature to kind of add ripples in the background. Um, these are crocheted and um, over top of hand-blown glass. So Megan Sims, uh, a fantastic artist and glass blower, blows the glass orbs for me, look, look like that. And then um, Cozy Corner over here is uh, where I do a lot of crocheting and um, adorn the glass orbs to make them look like these fun little uh, cephalopods. So that's been fun and kind of out of my comfort zone um, to do a big installation piece like this. That's it. Thanks so much for watching and for checking out my work in my studio. Hope to see everyone at the Fiberworks 2020 show when everything's back up and running again. Uh, stay safe and be well. Thank <laughs> you.